Welcome back to programming. Uh, this one is video number seven. I'll show you how to install Android plugin in NetBeans. First, we're gonna need to download the Android SDK, and um, we're doing that by going to uh, search bar. <laughs> type in Android SDK hit enter um, it'll be the first one in the list we'll just uh, download this one right here Android SDK revision 10 for Linux uh, wh what we're gonna do is uh, we will open it with Akai Manager It will download and extract the content for you, and then we just say we want to extract this folder into. Um, for me, I was just uh, extract to the my program folder. Extract it, and I'll show the file. Go to Android SDK, go to Tools, and then I'm going to click on the Android executable file, which is this one. Double click on it. Um, my Ubuntu asked me if oh, what I want to do with this. I'll just click Run, and this is what I get. Uh, what I'll do next is to in go to available packages and then go to Android repository and select on uh, Android SDK platform tools revision 3 and I will develop mine um, for Android 2.2 .2, so I'll need this one these are the only two components I'll be using so uh, I'll just click install selected and accept all click on install uh, it will take a little bit Okay, it's now done, but it need to restart the EADB. I'll just click yes. And that's it. I'm done installing the packages. Uh, now, I want to create the virtual devices. I'll create one of them actually. Just um, click on new, and I'll name it Andy. And the two, 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 and the only platform I got is um to Android two point two. Uh, my phone is um, two meg, two gig of mem SD card memory. So my SD card is gonna be um, two o four eight megabyte, and then it's a uh, my really uh, my screen is very limited so I'll select this one uh, in addition to the hardware property right here which the, the default comes up with two I'll add um, SD card support and um, I'll keep this to the minimum so I'll, I'll need a keyboard lid and keyboard support and that's it for my device I'll just click create a VD and this will take a while so I'll pause the video and come back when it's done 
Okay, after finishing it, I'll get this one. I'll just confirm it by click OK. And refresh it. And that is done for the Android SDK setup. I'll just, now I can just close the all. So close this, close this, close this. And the download windows. And I can just close the Firefox and then I'll leave it there for now. I'll go to open my NetBeans and this time we'll just uh, install the NetBeans plugin. So uh, we'll go back to the Firefox and for the plugin we'll type in NB Android and hit enter we'll go to the first link and uh, we'll you can read the installation go to installation and then click on this link right here and say copy link location and we'll use that in our NetBean plugin manager. So we'll go to tools, go to plugins, and go to settings. We'll add in the update center. Click on the add button, and I'll just call it NB Android. And Control V to paste the uh, link that we just copy, and click on OK. Now we can reload it. And go to available plugins. In here we'll see Android. If you find it hard enough, you will see it. Ah, it's right here. So click on that and then click on install. The current version of Android is um, Android 1.3. I click on next and then accept the term and click on install. Uh, we get the warning and we don't care about that so we just click on continue now we're done with the um, plugin installation click on finished close it uh, it's ready for us to create the Android uh, project but we'll need to uh, configure the uh, Android platform first. So we'll go to two options and we'll go to miscellaneous and on the Android tab we'll click browse and then go to programs and then click on the extracted Android SDK so it's this one right here click on OK and click on OK again now you're ready to um, develop the Android application now I'll just show you how to do that click on file and then new project go to uh, the in the categories, uh, you go to Android and select the only project type, and then click on Next. We'll create the um, MyJoy application. Com dot MyJoy. Um, Uh, the activity names I'll name it my main activity 
and select the only platform that we created so click on finished and the first time around that you um, got your project it will cut it will have the error which is the missing uh, resource bundle you can fix that easily by right click on the project and then say build the Android plugin will automatically generate the um, bundle for you so now that the error is gone we can customize this by okay I'll I'll create an image view, call it Im icon. Okay, we're gonna fix this by fix import, but the image view it don't need the context, so. We'll just send in the object instead of this activity. And I'll set the image resource to to the only image in here, which is in the resources drawable. It's the icon, so I'll say r dot drawable dot icon now I'll set the content view to be the icon and that is that is it for the application now we want to test it on the SDK so we'll click on run it doesn't find any running devices so we're gonna need uh, we're gonna have to start a new one which is any two two this will take a while so I'll pause when it comes up it will show you the default screen for um, the any 2 2 the emulator then your <coughs> it, uh, it has problem with the emulator so it's not ready We'll need to deploy it again with the running device. Now our application is up. So this is the icon that we use, and um, this is the name of the our main activity. Well, this is it for video number seven which is um, I just show you how to install Android plugin and uh, write a simple application for it in uh, in it beans thank you for watching see you next time goodbye